Down at 11, a disturbing discovery here along Wilson Road in Lockport. Two dead dogs and road crews found those dogs in a plastic bag. And tonight, the reward to find the person responsible for their deaths and bring them to justice continues to grow. Two on your side's Kelly Dudzik spoke with the people investigating the case tonight about the challenges they're facing. It certainly does point to something very, very strange. Two young dogs found dead in a trash bag on the side of Niagara County Road have investigators puzzled, and now they're turning to you for help. It could be a neighbor that noticed that, you know, they had two dogs one day and their dogs have been missing for a while. I mean, anything from the public can help us. A road crew found the dogs, both females, a four-year-old wire-haired terrier and a two-year-old Lhasa Apso last Thursday on Wilson Road in the town of Lockport. Investigators think they were probably someone's pets. They were being fed, but had overgrown nails. Unfortunately, neither of the dogs had microchips. Neither of them had collars and tags on. One had a flea collar on, but unfortunately, there's no serial numbers on there, so we can't trace it back. One of the dogs had some singed fur, but the veterinarian who did the necropsy says the dogs weren't burned to death. I didn't see any overall cuts, lacerations, bullet holes, anything like that. Um, uh, everything was intact, um, no bleeding blood, you know, so overall they were in fairly good condition. So the cause of death remains a mystery. Dr. Brown says it's possible they were poisoned. The pot of reward money for information leading to a conviction is growing. With people giving from Seattle to Syracuse, investigator Ryan Scott says it's now close to $9,000. If the person's caught, he says they'd at least be charged with a misdemeanor based on the condition of the dogs. There's no provisions in New York State on how you dispose of your dog once it's deceased. But we find it a little suspicious that a two-year-old dog and a four-year-old dog both had passed at the same time, and they were dumped that way. And unfortunately, with no microchip, no leads, there's nothing we can really go on. So if you would like to help, there are two ways you can do that. If you know something about what happened to the dogs, you can call the Niagara County Sheriff's Office or Niagara SPCA, and you don't have to leave your name. And if you'd like to contribute to the reward fund, Crime Stoppers is coordinating that. I've posted all of the phone numbers for you in this story on our website and our Two on Your Side app. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.